teacher friend, my name is Brittany from Math with Minis, and if you're new to me, I have a Teachers Pay Teacher store as well as a website where I help teachers and students master skills in mental math, including, but not limited to, math black fluency. In this video, I'm walking you through how you can use the extra practice templates I include in my Jamboard resources so that you can make your own custom assignments based on what your individual learners need. You can also just use this tutorial as a way to learn a little bit more about how to use Jamboard for your instructional materials. And I have templates for you. I have some available for free, which I will link down in the description below. And I also have this specific Jamboard, which is part of an overall set in the description as well, which links directly to Teachers Pay Teacher. So you can just click on it, it'll take you right to your TPT account, and you can buy it from there. If you find this video helpful, I would so appreciate it if you would like this video, hit subscribe, and be sure to click the little bell so that you never miss notification of a new video. If you have a question at any time, be sure to drop it in the comments below because I do read them and I do respond to them. Okay, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, before I start actually showing you how to do this Jamboard, I need you to know that for some reason my mic is making this crazy buzzing sound and I can't figure it out. So I'm gonna go as fast as I possibly can. So to use this Jamboard, the extra practice one, this is included in all of my Jamboard math math matchup sets, by the way. So if you decide that you want the one for the six times table or the seven times table, you will get this one that's similar, except for it will already be partially filled in. So to use this, you're just gonna click on the text box tool click on the box, and then put whatever it is you're wanting them to practice. It's literally any operation. So let's just say five times seven. Just that however you want it. You can make it smaller or bigger. And then we'll double click on that, change it to 35, click save, drag the answer. This is how they would do it. They would drag it over. And you do want to make sure that all your tiles are set to be in the front. So you just double click on those little circles, order, bring to front. That way it covers the tile when they move it over. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I would recommend because there's only so much area on the margins that you would keep it limited to 10 answers and then just have uh, these answers pop up over and over again. But of course that is totally up to you. And that is pretty much it. When you're ready to assign it in Google Classroom, you can simply add it into your Google Drive. And if you need a video showing you how to assign a Jamboard in Google Classroom, I will link that as well because it is super helpful. And yeah, check out my YouTube channel for other math tutorials and math instructional tools.